In a world dominated by towering giants and ancient reptiles, a tale of rivalry and survival unfolds. For ages, the Pteranodon reigned supreme as the greatest hatchling thief, terrorizing all nests it encountered. Its mastery of the skies made it an unrivaled predator. For centuries, the Pteranodon ruled the lands with impunity, striking fear into anyone who just wanted to make a nest. But as the sun sets on the Pteranodon's reign, a new challenger emerged from the shadows, the Trudon. With his discovery, the balance of power shifted, and the Trudon now holds the dominion over the night. This now means nobody's nests are safe anymore. All right, and we're in. It is a full server right now. We're on my server. Okay, well, we're not going that way. <laughs> so, today we'll be hopping in as a Trudon, but I wanted to try play a little bit differently. I feel most people are jumping in and looking for packs, which is probably the smarter way to do it. <laughs> However, I'll be playing solo today, and if you haven't guessed from the title, we'll be doing a little hatchling thievery. But before we could get into the good stuff, we needed to grow a little, and getting all three diets is the fastest way to do so. I can feel it in my toes, you're gonna give me what I want. Um, no idea what it is, but it's giving us diet, so that's all that matters. New diet protrude on, hidden, unseen. Oh. Oh! <laughs> At yeah. The nice thing about Trudon is that its growth time is very short. In less than an hour, you can get yourself an adult very easily. And now, with all three diets in check, you'll be growing 50% faster than usual. And look at us. What? Alright, now all we have to do is survive for now and get to adult. And that was pretty much the plan. Just grow and then start to search for some nests. Which, on my server, are normally quite common due to some rules which make nesting more fun. However, on my way to get some water, I ran into some Sarahs. And you know how that goes. If you play Trudon, you just have to be annoying. I'm not sure they are in Discord. Oh, let's bring them out, let's bring them out. And bring them out like this. He's trying to bait. Oh. Oh yeah, he's typing now. Come on. Where is he? Yeehaw! <laughs> I was starting to stack some venom, getting ready for the showdown. However, his family wasn't far away and they had decided to come help him out, making my life, well, a lot more difficult. So small, they have no idea I'm even here. Mm, I think I'm just playing with fire here. It's a big family, and I'm not even an adult yet. For now, we'll let these guys go. I said that as if I had the choice to kill them. However, that's the kind of confidence we would need today. Being one shot to most things, killing anything solo would be quite the challenge. I had no intention to keep following them. However, they were in a really good drinking spot, and my water was starting to drain. So, I decided to wait them out and go for a drink myself. Oh yeah, he's bleeding. You can see it there. One goes and the other. Get a quick sip. So, I took a quick sip where I'd seen it was safe, and luckily managed to leave just in time before the whole family had returned again. Luck seemed to be on my side today, as you will start to see the further we get into this adventure. Let's get out of there. Oh my god, that was good timing to be done. Might have to just kill this pig. My plan was to kill the pig for some food, but the pig had other plans in mind. So after healing up a little bit, I ventured further. I didn't really have a direction. I was more so just looking for nests, so any sign of one, oh but with no luck. Everyone I was running into was either fully grown or in a herd protected by their peers. Things were not looking good for me. Hi. That was until I arrived at Spine Crossing. This is where my luck quite truly turned around. The true beginning of our story. So I see Pteranodons flying in and out of here. There's one up there. 
this is where the weirdest and luckiest event happened. You truly can't make this up. I didn't even believe it myself, to the point where I went to check the replay to see if it wasn't an admin trophy. But it seemed this hatchling was just trying to fly, a little bit too early, and it didn't quite work out for him. Huh? Huh? The hatchling fell! Hatchling fell! No way! <laughs> that looks so scripted, I swear to god! I swear to god that was not scripted! Oh my god! If that was you, say something in the comment section, that is funny! <laughs> That is as in the right place at the right time as you can get. Truly one of the most lucky things to ever happen to me in the aisle. Not that a hatchling is much food, but it's what inspired the rest of my story to become a great hatchling thief once more. But this time, as a Trudon. So yeah, Tyrannodon nests are the ones we want to find because those are gonna be fun. While the life of a predominantly hatchling thief Trudon might seem adventurous, it comes with a downside. Since hatchlings provide minimal substance, these antics become more of a playful pursuit than a reliable food source. As a result, this mischievous behavior can lead the clever Trudon into challenging and precarious situations. I just need to find this food quick. Why did I just die from starvation? <laughs> As the clock ticked away, my Trudon's hunger reached a critical low, causing it to weaken and sustain damage. With each passing moment, the threat of extinction loomed closer, leaving me with the daunting realization that time was running out. As the sands of time slipped away, a glimmer of hope emerged when a diminutive Omniraptor caught my eye. It presented a fleeting opportunity, a single chance to capture this nimble prey, which could potentially save me from the clutches of starvation. The stakes were high, and the moment was now or never, as I prepared to embark on a perilous pursuit to secure my survival. It's a little Omni. It's a little Omni. Oh! Thank God. Eat, 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 eat. Hope flickered as I realized this kill would fortify my Trudon and sustain me for the time being. However, with the knowledge that such provisions were temporary, my perpetual quest for sustenance had to persist. So basically my plan to survive is just killing Juvies and finding hatchlings. With unwavering determination, I embraced patience and ventured forth as a skilled hatchling thief, fully aware of the daunting task of finding nests on this unforgiving island. Undeterred by the challenges, I knew in my heart that patience would be the ultimate key to achieving the success I so eagerly wanted. What's up there? What do we have? Oh, Dryo. Focusing on the Dryo, I aim for my third diet. Despite their agility, I hoped this one would be less fit than the rest, offering a chance for a successful hunt. However, the hunt became remorseful, and without the usual chase and all these friendly calls, only my gnawing hunger compelled me to persevere and make the kill. Uh, don't be friendly, that's just rude. We're gonna have to kill it. I'm sorry. As the day progressed, I observed the Omniraptor narrowly escape the jaws of a hungry dinosaur. Witnessing this close encounter reminded me of the perilous dangers that lay ahead. However, instead of fear, it stirred a new determination within me to seek out more challenging prey, something that matched my size and prowess, inspiring a hunger for great accomplishments. So he's bigger than me. He's laying down. What is he doing? Poison. Gotta be careful. He'll probably pin me down as well. No, oh, how did that miss? our stamina. He is bleeding as well. With waning stamina, we fought cleverly, making each pounce count to ensure our survival. And, well, sure enough, after a bit of perseverance, the raptor went down, securing the much-needed nourishment for our continued journey. Nice. Okay. Whew. That was good.
After hours of searching, I reach the beach, a favored gathering spot for pteranodons and potentially their nests. With hatchlings in mind, I scoured the area meticulously, seeking any clue for any potential nest site. The thrill of discovery fueled my determination to find any sustenance we needed for the challenges ahead. We reached the beach. And... I do hear pteranodons. But I don't know where they are. Amongst the steep cliffs, I heard the distant calls of a pteranodon, but locating them presented a whole new set of challenges. Are they here? There's a pteranodon here. Are they? Drawing closer, the cries of a hatchling reached my ears, signaling presence of a nearby nest. The adult pteranodons would likely be unable to protect their offspring from an attack considering an adult Trudon's formidable prowess in comparison. The defenseless hatchling, still too young to fly, meant an easy feast awaited me. Got him, got him. And we're out, and we're out. Oh, we can go back and just completely kill that whole nest. Oh, we can. Nice. Okay, I think we'll try catch one more. Fueled by the opportunity to snatch another hatchling, I observed the defenseless pteranodons, realizing they were unable to escape their nest. The situation presented the grim scene of predation with a potential bloodbath in the making. However, my own pressing need for water forced me to prioritize my survival. Deciding to replenish my dangerously low water supply first, I momentarily set aside the tempting feast and ventured off in search of a life-sustaining water source. What is this guy doing? Thirsty and in need of water, Smoopak and I set our differences aside to share the only available water source, a rare and wholesome moment. However, our paths diverged as I knew my intended goal yeah, was to hunt hatchlings, funny. not to prey upon the packy. We've got some hatchlings to kill. <laughs> I'm coming for your kids. As I hurried back, excitement surged through me, anticipating what was to come. Some might perceive this act as monstrous, giving that hatchlings offer minimal sustenance, but for me, the thrill and joy of the hunt were too irresistible to ignore, making this moment too enticing to pass up. You could make a noise, that'd be great. Ah, thank you. <laughs> okay, somehow I ended up behind them, but they weren't expected, so... Oh, there's one. No, it, it wasn't in the nest. It's not in the nest. Oh, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Get up, get up, get up, get up. <laughs> don't fall off, don't fall off the edge. Oh, oh my god. Yes. Oh. We got it. We got another one. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. Oh my god. And now the hatch. I just lost two children. I feel like they've suffered enough. We were... Uh... We'll leave them be. <laughs> this encounter only intensified my hunger for hatchlings, and so my pursuit persisted. Although the thrill of the hunt was exhilarating, I couldn't help but wonder if karma would one day catch up with me. Yet, that thought never deterred me. Instead, it served as a challenge that further fueled my determination. After a considerable amount of time had passed and the morning sun had risen, there were still no signs of nests or hatchlings. Filled with determination, I chose to return to the nesting ground, where I had spotted the packies congregating the previous night. Perhaps, by some stroke of luck, they had decided to make a nest, and this was a chance I couldn't pass up. As I arrived at the nesting ground, I discovered that I wasn't the first thief on the scene. My rival, a cunning pteranodon known for stealing hatchlings, was also trying their luck. Surprisingly though, this turn of events had an unexpected advantage for me. The Pakis were now vigilant to aerial attacks from above, causing them to let their guard down against potential threats lurking below. This presented a golden opportunity for me to get closer than ever to the unsuspecting hatchlings and execute my plan with precision. Remaining unseen and patient, I waited for the opportune moment to strike, fully focused on my oh, tongue. Hopefully I blend in. Kinda blended. One's alone over there. Luck favored me once again as a fortunate turn of events unfolded. Two packies were play fighting and one was knocked over, leaving him vulnerable to my attack. This was an easy kill, but getting the body afterwards, that was the real challenge. As he hit him, <laughs> he did the work for me. Thank you so much. That's so funny. 
But why is everyone teleporting so much? Am I lagging? Daringly, I returned to the lifeless body while the parents were still less agitated, hoping they would permit me to eat from it. The scene was indeed cruel, but it reflected the harsh reality of life on the Isle, where survival often meant making difficult choices in the unforgiving wilderness. <laughs> Look at his little brother. As my journey carried on, it guided me to the swamp, where the cover of night offered prime hunting hours for a true unlike myself. Instincts tingling with the anticipation, the urge to hunt surged within me. I was determined to find something to satiate my predatory nature and quench the unyielding thirst for the thrill of the hunt. Hmm. <gasps> Sounds like Tenos. Looks like just one though. I think they're being attacked by something. Let's go take a closer look. Oh, wait. Was that a true uncle or like a baby? Intrigued by the cry, I followed the sound, only to find that another pack of Trudons had already beaten me to the scene. Nonetheless, I remained in the area, captivated by the unfolding events, hoping an opportunity would eventually present itself. Wait, what? Did I just vomit? How did I just vomit? A sudden illness befell my Trudon, depleting my hunger and stamina significantly. This unfortunate turn of events forced me to act sooner than anticipated and added to the challenges of survival. With my resources limited and the pressure to make a kill mounting, the need to secure sustenance became more urgent than ever before. Okay, so it seems like the Trudons have started eating the other body. So they are safe to leave now, but I'm not with those Trudons. And I don't think they know that, if they can even see me right now. So, we're gonna try something risky. Oh! I'm gonna try and go for this guy. Okay, that's one. Ooh. Did I hit that? I'm not sure if I hit that. Okay, this is very risky. Pretty much a one hit, one or two hits, and that's it for me. With time running out, I knew I had to take a risk and put all my skills to the test in this critical moment. There was no room for hesitation, the stakes were high, and failure meant succumbing to hunger. The outcome rested solely in my actions and the pressure to emerge victorious was immense. The bull was now in my corner and I had to give it my all to secure my survival. <laughs> there we go, that's another one. That's two. I'm pretty sure I only need like three or four. So, ooh, ooh. Oh my god. Oh, they hit each other. Oh. That's another one. Did it die? I think I killed it. Yep. Nice. Victorious, we live to see another day. Yep, the Tenontosaurus family had lost all their children. A harsh reminder of the unforgiving life of a hatchling, where only the strongest survive. After a considerable amount of time had passed, our true and friend was barely surviving on AI boards. A less than exciting life. However, one evening as I went for a drink, a loud screech of a galley had captured my attention. Oh, there it is. Is he gonna get grabbed? <laughs> Where's he going? Where's he going? To the forest. Seems odd. He goes into the forest. <laughs> Unless he has something to hide. I wasn't going off of much, but you have to admit, it was pretty weird for a galley to be going into these forests. There isn't much there for anyone. Well, that's unless he had something there that he didn't want people to know about. Somewhere. <gasps> yeah, I knew it! I think there's a nest. Are they all on that log? <laughs> that's actually really bad though, because... I don't know how I can get up there. I'm gonna have to wait for them to come down. These galleys were smart, having their babies up on a log, away from the creatures that lurked below. This would make it very difficult for me to attack, so I would have to wait for a more opportune moment. Uh oh. Don't go. <gasps> yep, you keep going that way. <gasps> One jump down. Are they leaving? I think they're leaving. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna follow them out of the forest because it was just too difficult to actually find them once they spread out. And then when they're distracted, we'll attack. Oh, there's one falling behind a little there. Where'd he go? See? Just like that. Where'd he go? <gasps> right here. Right here. Gotcha! 
Oh, get off! Why won't I get off? Move! In the struggle of the battle, it seemed Cormac finally caught up with me, putting my true dawn and the story to a rest. What life he lived, though, one I'm sure many others will remember for a long time. However, if you enjoyed this story, make sure to go check out some of my others. But without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video.